Hi, my name is Justin Pike, the WBA champion of the world, and you're watching Sporting Icons. Speed is a key to be Anthony Joshua, and this is according to WBO World Heavyweight Champion Joseph Parker. And he says that he doesn't believe that Anthony Joshua will be able to keep up with him when he's chasing Joshua around and if you like maybe making Joshua chase him around quite a bit. In other words, he's going for the whole gas gassing tactic, of course. And this is what Joseph Parker has told Sky Sports. I'm going to expose Anthony Joshua. He doesn't move as well as I do. The way to beat him would be speed and movement. I don't think he can catch me. As far as stopping him, I don't know. I haven't fought him yet, so I couldn't really say. But I'm going to punish him with every jab, every right hand, and every hook. That was Joseph Parker's statement. So these two are set to clash in Anthony Joshua's second unification fight on March 31st at the Principality Stadium in Cardiff, Wales. And this will be for Anthony Joshua's IBF, IBO, and Super WBA heavyweight titles against Joseph Parker's WBO heavyweight world title. So this is for three of the main four belts. Obviously the winner will hopefully look on to go face John Tay Wilder before this year closes. But of course, if Joseph Parker manages to win, there's a immediate rematch clause in the contract that he must face Joshua again. And that time around, he'll get 55% in the rematch compared to his 32, 33% that he's getting right now. Now, as far as speed being the key to beat Joshua, I can't disagree with it, to be honest. Um, I really can't. Um, I think with uh, Joshua though, he's working a lot on stamina. Um, we have seen him gas out a little bit on two occasions, if you like. Well, I say a little bit against uh, Vladimir Klitschko, that was very evident he gassed out. And a lot of that was because after he dropped Klitschko, he went into celebration mode and <laughs> tired himself out, really. And of course, when uh, Klitschko got off the deck, then it was a case of, oh, crap. So, yeah. Yeah, I mean, obviously with Joshua being a big guy, it's very hard to get the air into the lungs to send the oxygen around to feed the blood and feed the muscles, all that kind of thing, right? So, yeah, yeah, I can certainly see why, but Joshua's going to come into this fight a lot lighter than what he did against Takam. Um, against Takam, he was, what, 254, 255, which was way too heavy for a guy like Takam. But, of course, he was preparing for Kubrat Pulev. Kubrat Pulev is obviously bigger and a lot slower, so a bit of weight would have probably helped him to connect with um, Pulev. Pulev wasn't exactly going to be on his bicycle for too long before Joshua was going to catch him. Takam, totally different style. So by the time Takam came in to replace Pulev, it was too late. The weight was already there. And as Eddie Hearn said, it was a case of Joshua was just a case of, well, stuff it now. What's the point in now uh, working on the weight? There's no point. Now we'll just work on tactics. And it paid dividends, really. Um, You'll be hard pushed to give Takam more than a round or two in that entire fight. And the stoppage, premature, yeah, maybe. I can, um, I can certainly see why people would say that. But he didn't really gas out against Takam. You see, a lot of people thought that he did, but he didn't. He was as strong in round number 10 as what he was in the opening rounds, right? And he was as accurate as well. The only kind of like a real pause, if you like, was when Takam hit him on the nose with his own head. So he uh, headbutted. Joshua on the nose and obviously Joshua thought that his nose was broken turned out that it wasn't broken in the end it just fractured it a little bit so yeah I mean speed is certainly a way to beat Joshua but also catching him clean is also a way to beat Joshua when we seen him fight Dillian White it was a big punch that made it look like Joshua gassed but it wasn't a case of Joshua was gassed he was buzzed Okay, and of course, when he fought Klitschko as well, when he got dropped, again, he got buzzed. And it wasn't necessarily down to fatigue. It was just a very good straight right from Klitschko. And that's a, that's a punch that uh, Joshua should have been more than prepared for. But of course, at that point, because he'd been jumping around the ring uh, the round before and got himself out a bit, it was more difficult to see it coming, I suppose. Um, but... Now Joshua, he is working on endurance, he is dropping the weight. Last we heard he was in the 240s, so he's already dropped a lot of weight. How will he be on fight night? No idea. But in sparring, in training, he's just brought in Carlos Takam as well. And um, obviously his last opponent. 
And the reason that he's brought in Takam is not only because he knows Anthony Joshua, um, sorry, not only because he's been in the ring with Joseph Parker, so he knows how Parker fights, but also because of his hand speed. And this is a very, very pivotal point for Joseph Parker. His hand speed is very, very fast for a heavyweight, almost freakishly fast. So um, while Takam can't really replicate Parker's hand speed, he's probably as close to it as you could possibly really get if you like. So he's making all the right moves um, for training with uh, Parker. I'm not too sure who he's training with. Um, we did hear that uh, Tony Yoka was part of there, but because he got caught, um, well, he missed his fourth uh, Vada testing or, or whatever it was and got suspended or maybe now he's not suspended. I'm not too sure. So if Tony Yoka is still in camp with Joseph Parker, no idea right now, but certainly speed is what kills this is what david hay has relied on virtually his entire career speed and power does joseph parker have the power to knock out anthony joshua i believe he probably does but a lot of being made of joseph parker's chin but to be fair i don't think he's been in with anybody who punches as hard and as accurately as joshua so nobody's chin is indestructible nobody's is you can call him granite chin and while he is he is one of those guys that you keep on hitting and he will keep on coming forward no doubt about it park is one of these guys to beat him you're going to have to either outbox him over 12 rounds or really put a stamp on him and as of yet nobody's managed to put a stamp on him with a big knockout blow and i think that's the only way parker will stay down is if he physically can't get up and Anthony Joshua, I believe, does have, to have the power to do it. I'm expecting a bit of a cagey fight from both these guys. Um, whereas Parker's saying that he's going to chase around Joshua. No, I'm not really too sure that's going to happen. Um, I think this isn't going to be a Huey Fury style fight, if you like. Where Parker's going to have to be coming forward all night and Joshua's going to be on his bicycle. I'm not seeing that scenario at all. If anything, I can see Parker on the back foot waiting to counter him. This whole speed thing, I believe it's just a ploy tactic. I don't believe he's really going to go for speed too much. He will have to at times, of course. But I do believe he's looking to counter Joshua. And if necessary, give away some rounds. That's what I believe is going to happen. But either way, no matter what happens, big props to Parker for getting in the ring with Joshua. Big props for Joshua for getting in the ring with Parker for a unification fight. Not all champions do that, but these two are... So big props to both of them. May the best man win and all this kind of thing. And hopefully it's going to be a very good, very exciting fight. And as I said before, this will be only one of two occasions where I would actually want Joseph Parker to lose. All other occasions, I would want Parker to win. And that being, I'd like him to lose, if at all possible, please, to Anthony Joshua. And if they and if you ever fought Dillian White, lose to Dillian White too. Everyone else you can beat, no worries. So anyway, drop your thoughts below. Do you believe that Joseph Parker's being serious about him using the speed do you believe that he will get joshua on the back foot and is speed the way to beat anthony joshua drop your thoughts below click that thumbs up subscribe catch your next video